operator hub.io is a registry of Kubernetes operators uh, where you can easily install them and StreamZ project is part of it. So that's why in this video I want to show you how to install StreamZ using operator hub. I have here my uh, Kubernetes cluster. It's running the latest Kubernetes version in uh, Amazon AWS and currently it's completely empty and uh, I will go to the operator hub, I will select Strimzy, I get some description with links to the documentation and so on, but here in the top right corner I have the install button and uh, I will use uh, the operator hub to install uh, Strimzy. So first let's have a look at the prerequisites. Um, to begin we have to install something called uh, operator lifecycle manager which is basically an uh, operator for operators. This is the component or set of components which are responsible for deploying and managing the operators uh, you install from the operator hub. So let's go to command line and uh, create the YAML file. As you can see, it created all the resources. I will use this uh, other part of the window to watch uh, the pods as they are starting. You can see that we have already some new pods running in the OLM namespace. Uh, it's called Catalog Operator, OLM Operator and OLM Operators. And they are already ready, but I think uh, it will install a few more components. Uh, you can see that it installs something called package server that's now also running so let's get back to the browser and uh, see what else we should do to install streamzy so we finished with the prerequisites and the prerequisites you have to do them only once uh, uh, per cluster and then you can install multiple operators with it so we have done that and now we have to install the streams operator so this is another command let's copy it again and uh, paste it here and uh, that should apply again and we can see that uh, here it started creating some new uh, containers again so it seems to create a separate pod for the operator hub.io catalog which is the catalog for the website and uh, now it should deploy the StreamZ cluster operator as well. And that should happen hopefully any second. Right, so now we see that the Streams the cluster operator is starting. The operators which you install they will be running in a different namespace called operators and uh, the Streams the operator will be configured to watch uh, all the namespaces for all the different uh, Streams the custom resources and uh, once you create such resource it will automatically deploy the cluster. I of course already prepared here one uh, example resource for a Kafka cluster. What you can see here is a very simple resource copied from our examples. It will deploy Kafka 2.1 cluster with three replicas uh, backed by a free replica Zookeeper cluster and it will additionally deploy the topic and user operators for managing topics and users. So let's do kubectl apply-f that should create the resource. The operator will see it and will start automatically creating the pods. So we can already see here that the Zookeeper pods are being created. So the way Streamzy works is we first deploy the Zookeeper cluster. We wait for all the pods uh, to uh, get uh, to the ready state and bootstrap the cluster. And uh, only once the Zookeeper cluster is actually working, we proceed to create the Kafka pods with the actual Kafka brokers. So you can see that now the Zookeeper cluster is ready. So we proceeded to deploy Kafka. 
now we will again wait for the Kafka clusters uh, to get up and running and uh, then you will have uh, a running Kafka cluster just within a few seconds of course in the operator hub you can find more different uh, operators which you can easily install for things like EPCD, Prometheus, uh, Jaeger, different databases like Postgres, uh, MongoDB and so on. So there's a lot of interesting operators uh, to check out and it makes the installation and management of operators uh, on Kubernetes really easy. That's it. Thanks for watching.